the basic digitizing functions in BuzzEdit are handy for when you want to create simple manual punch embroidery designs or add customized details to existing stitch files. We will create a simple embroidery using a graphic as the background template. We need to size the graphic in the dialog box so that we can use it as an accurate guide. You may create simple shapes like circles and rectangles using the digitizing tools. For non-regular closed shapes, you would use the custom shape tool. Following the path of the background graphic, click to create the shape. Left clicks create straight nodes and right clicks create curves. You can change or add more after your shape has been created, so you do not need to be accurate in the first pass. The software will close the shape for you, so come close to the end and double click or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. The Object Properties dialog is displayed, where you can change the color of the outline and fill on the General tab. If you wish to reshape the object at this time, click on Edit Shape and move the nodes. Right-click on a node to change its style or to delete it. Re-click on Edit Shape to view the reshaping you have created. To change the fill properties of this object, select the Fill tab. To set a new angle for the fill stitching, select Draw Direction and draw the angle on your screen or type in a value in the Stitch Direction dialog. If the object you have created needs underlay stitching for stability, you can select this from the pull-down menu. Save your work and be sure to include the buzz file for future editing. The Outline tab allows you to change the style of outline for the current object and set its properties. These may be the width of the zigzag or number of repeats for a running stitch. Use the Actual Size pop-up preview to view your progress at any time. To create a second object with different properties, choose the Custom Shape tool and draw the leaf. Use the Reference window to zoom in on the area that you are creating. When you hit Enter or double click, only the current object is displayed in space with its properties in the dialog box. You may customize your leaf by changing the, both the fill and the outline stitch. Be sure to save your work often. The stem is created using the column or turning angle tool. You may zoom in at any time to get a better view of what you are working on. The angle of the stitches of this object will follow the regions you create. By nature of this shape, the stitching starts and stops following how you create the shape, in this case from the bottom of the stem to the top. Adding a satin stitch end to the stem is an extra detail. Create this using the Ellipse tool. I have not added underlay to any of these small regions we have created. We will do a test sew to determine if we do need to add underlay at a later date. You may rotate the object you have created 
and move it using the Object tool. When editing your designs, it is always helpful to use the actual size pop-up to preview and then save your work often using the shortcut button. To get a better view of what has been created, turn off the background graphic. If you need to reorder the colors, you may drag and drop them along the color bar. This does not remove any of the properties you have set in the Object Properties dialog box. Please remember to keep your mouse cursor along the color bar so that you do not break up your objects. If you wish to change the properties of an object at any time, choose the Select Object tool and click on the object you wish to change. The applique function can easily transform the filled apple to an applique with tack down and placement stitches. Notice the change in the timeline. We will save this design under a new name to have two versions of the same design. Using the Object tool, it is easy to select different objects you have created and change their properties that currently are set in the Object Properties dialog box. Running stitch details, such as the veins in this leaf, are created with the Open Path tool. Their properties are set under the Outline tab. Save your work and be sure to save the buzz file which is the default settings. To make changes to this design in the future, be sure to open the buzz file into BuzzEdit to have access to all the object data you have already created.